Batman 89 issue 3 and this issue is a really well done put together issue and it's one of those situations where like if this was a movie like say 89 this this comic six part miniseries was a movie this would be the first like the next 10 minutes of said film because what you have here is the aftermath you of Harvey Dent getting pulled out of the wreckage getting out of the fire Bruce Wayne saving him, along with uh, uh, Tim Grayson, who is of course Robin in this story. And what you have is, is essentially Harvey Dent kind of having his split personality, his lie of thinking. And it's kind of Two-Face knocking on his door while he is in a coma, while he's resting in the hospital bed with half his face getting all stitched up and you know and wraps and bandages and it's really well put together I mean it is a really typical at this point like you know it's not the most flesh out motivation it's basically it's Gotham you need to fight dude to get the results you know that mindset of things but what you have and then what you realize, like, with the motivation of Two-Face, not, not Harvey, but Two-Face himself, is he, it's the whole, I want to clean up Gotham, I want to clean up, I want people, I want families and, and children to feel safe to, you know, have a vacation here. But probably to do that, I need, I, I don't, I can't play nice. I have to fight dirty and, and ends... You know, you know, ends justifying the means kind of situation. And it's just pretty put the words together. Because here's the thing. All the other stuff is like, okay, people found out that Bruce Wayne helped uh, Harvey Dent out of the fire. Um, so there's a sense of these celebrities and uh, the celebrity status. And you have the um, reporters and the Gotham Z and, and all these newspaper outlets at outside Wayne Manor waiting to ask for him and Alfred's like you maybe want to go to the other entrance dear sir you may want to enter exit in out by the cave um, but also what you have is find out a little bit more about why is Selena here why is Catwoman here and all we have is vengeance it's like she's still on this vengeful path, and I think it's gonna be that situation where she she's always going to feel vengeful. She's still gonna have that motivation that she had in Batman Returns, which was a, a revenge motive. You, know, you kill Mash Swag, destroy his legacy, destroy everything because he chucked me off the roof and got eaten by cats, and now I have cat powers. That you know. That was her motivation, but I think her motivation is still there. Like, it's never going to let go. It's kind of like Bruce with the death of, of death of his parents, and he is he feels like he doesn't... You realize he's never going to do it. And I realize... And by the way, anybody mention about... Anybody um, notice this? That they actually reference the a shell fight for Catwoman movie that never got made. Because they mentioned about, Selena mentions about, oh, I had psychiatrists, and uh, they all said this, and they all had that, and blah, 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 blah. Like, that was going to be, like, like that was going to be the Catwoman movie that they were planning to make. Which, sadly, we now got one. Got your time. Hey, baby, Catwoman is not real Catwoman. Get that right, Jesus, I thought, I thought you would learn something. I thought you would know that, Jesus.